You lose your temper. Ow! Do you think you can just sit here and tell me what to do? You two have failed in your marriage, and my sister and I are the ones who have to bear the consequences. Dad, all you think about is the family business. You care about it more than about your own children. And Mom, all you've ever done was yell and complain. Nothing's ever good enough for you. No wonder you two didn't last. You were meant to fail. I wish I'd been born into a different family. Any family but this messed up one. Your parents are too shocked to even breathe. I'm out of here. Yes, running away is childish. You know that they're expecting you to keep calm and talk it out like an adult. But you do it anyway. You run. It's like you're being chased by an invisible avalanche. Your survival depends on it. You pass shops, barking dogs, startled strollers, and playing children who all look after you like you're crazy. And then you finally reach the bridge that leads out of the city. Only yesterday you ran through the same woods with a light heart and a clear mind. Now everything is blurred and your world is turned upside down. Your feet are now flying over grass, leaves, and sticks. The air is fresher, and you can hear running water. The colors seem more vibrant out here than in the city, and you can feel excitement starting to run through your veins. It's the feeling you live for. After going for a refreshing dive, you begin to ascend. There are a few obstacles in your way, but nothing you couldn't handle. You keep climbing up, making use of anything that comes your way, until you reach a plateau. From there, you can see a giant mountain in the distance. How is it that you've never noticed such a huge mountain close to your city? Well, now that you've found it, you might as well go over there and investigate. You examine the cliffs around you. They seem treacherous, but you know you won't be able to rest until you see the mountain up close. So you begin to climb. Your hunger for adventure makes you forget all about your parents, we're sitting at home waiting for you. All of this would be a lot easier if you'd brought your climbing gear. But of course, that was the last thing on your mind when you left. After one last jump, you're relieved when you reach another plateau. But before you can catch your breath, a mass of rock suddenly breaks off the scarp. In the nick of time, you dodge it. That was too close. You face more obstacles on your way up. Your muscles and brain are required to keep moving forward. Still, it feels good to move around, run, and jump. Thankfully, you're in great shape, and you're able to make progress swiftly. And, here's where you realize, you at least have your toolkit with you. Which makes sense, since the only time you take it off, pretty much, is when you change into your PJs. Finally, you've reached the last cliff that separates you from the mountain. It's entirely vertical, and soon you've reached heights from which a fall would be fatal. But that makes it all the more exciting. Your goal firmly in mind, you alternate between shimmying sideways and climbing up. When you finally get to the top with tired arms, you can't help but feel a little lost. Oh great, now it's starting to drizzle. Somehow, it's darker and gloomier up here. Suddenly, you find yourself in front of a gaping pit. No way you'd be able to jump over it. Maybe you should find another way. But what's that on the other side? You spot an alcove in the rock face. It's an entrance, an entrance into the mountain. So you have to make it around this pit somehow. But now that you look closer, you can see a long rope dangling from a rock ledge. The rope's in reach. If you manage to jump on it, you could probably swing far enough to get to the other side. But the rock face around you looks grippy too. Climbing around the pit might be another option. You'd better make your choice fast. Do you choose to use the rope to swing to the other side? Or do you choose to climb around the pit? Please make your choice. If you need more time, please find the choices in the description box.